Lewis and Clark High School teacher is trying to refocus his students' attention back to class. In his classroom, students actually lock their phones in cubbies until the end of class. What a concept. Mm -hmm. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley shares how his system works and how students are reacting to it. Well, I got to see these cell phone cubbies used firsthand. It was the end of Michael Lee's class, and let me tell you, you could feel the anticipation of his students ready to get their phones back. All right, you can get your phones. After getting the okay, Michael Lee's digital photography students made a mad dash for their cell phones, frantically unlocking their cubby. I just need to do something different. Lee says he noticed last year his students were coming back to class sooner and editing their photos quicker than expected. He realized it was so they could get more time on their phones. So he looked up ways to store phones, hoping to find a locker setup. He found this cell phone cubby on Amazon. My overall goal is to give kids an opportunity to, to engage in what they're doing. And that's hard to do when every few seconds or few minutes there's a beep on your phone and you have to check what it is. Students are assigned a locker number. They lock up their phones at the beginning of class and can charge it at the same time. So far, no complaints. Nobody has said to me, Mr. Lee, can I please not lock up my phone? They all just sort of walk in, they lock it up, and they get to work, and that's exactly the intention of it. And wouldn't you know, Lee says it seems his goal is becoming a reality. I've noticed that, you know, students are, you know, talking more about photography uh, because that's kind of the thing that, that is in front of them at the time, um, not what's happening on social media. And Mr. Lee tells me he told parents at a recent open house that he planned on using these cell phone cubbies and many of the parents he talked to said they are on board with this idea. Even the teachers at Lewis and Clark High School said they're considering doing the same. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.